All right, and we are live. Good morning, everybody. It is currently 9.39 a.m. Eastern Time on the 30th of April, 2020. And I have a, con I have a book that uh, I don't believe anybody has ever shown before, and one that I didn't know about until recently. Had to pick this up. Now, it's not technically a comic, but it's based on... Well, you'll see it when I unbox it for you, and then... Um, I don't know, I just thought this one was pretty cool. And I ended up paying a lot less than what I've seen other people selling it or have bought it for. Now, it's not entirely rare, but it is not exactly a book you're going to see all over the place. And I'm sure many of you have probably never seen this book before. While I'm waiting for people to come in, I just want to remind people that today is the last day if you want to get that $30 cashback bonus you have to sign up by clicking the link that I provide. It's either in the live chat if you're here now, in the description of this video, or any video, or it will be in the comments section pinned to the top when the video's been processed. So if you click on the link that I provide um, and you spend $30 or more by the end of today, so before midnight, you will get a $30 cashback bonus. Now normally you have to spend $25 within 90 days and you get a $10 additional cashback. So today is the last day for that so don't miss out. So if you've signed up and you've clicked on that link you have to spend $30 by today because the deadline is by May 1st. So sign up and spend $30 on something that you need. It doesn't have to be comics. It doesn't have to be on eBay. It's any of their participating um, sp uh, I guess sponsors that work with their channel. Just make sure you read if there's any restrictions or anything before you sign up. I mean, there's nothing that you have to worry about. It's free to do, but I figured I'd mention that just in case. So the link is in the description, and I'll post it one more time if you could share it. But again, that is by today only. Um, Matt says, is this available only in the U.S.? Um, I would check on that. That I'm not 100% sure. Because a lot of times, like, eBay programs involve Canada as well. So I guess the way to find out is to sign up and see if it lets you. And if it doesn't, then you know. But um, it's free to do regardless. So that I don't know. Read up on that and, and see. Um, that's something I either don't remember or I don't know. And I don't want to mislead people. So check it out. Click on it and see what happens. But it has to be done by today if you want that bonus. So let me put on the video camera. Um, little disappointed in how they ship this. There is no backboard or anything, so they just put it in an envelope. You guys know how much I love that. So, um, the good thing is this type of book I don't think will get ruined. But, uh, this is a cool book. As soon as I saw it, I had to get it, and I saw the prices. And, um, I just thought it was really cool. Alright, so they put two large backing boards over it as quote-unquote protection because, you know, microscopically thin backing boards really do protect anything from being damaged. So, gotta love it. Alright, so it didn't ruin the book and I didn't think it would. Alright, so this, and of course I will mention the price. Don't forget to wait until the end if you want to be um, today's surprise subscriber shout-out. You don't have to be a subscriber, but hopefully... We will earn your subscription. Hit the thumbs up if you like this. And this is a book that I just think is pretty cool. So here we go. I pretty much can safely say I don't think anybody has ever shown this one before. And this is... It's called Whitman 935. This came out in 1935. And this is the first ever appearance of Donald Duck in book form because Donald Duck was introduced by Walt Disney and this is a Walt Disney book so it's like a storybook so it's not technically a comic it's got like almost like a linen type of material and this is for a book from 1939 this is in pretty darn good condition and uh Deidora73 says Chris you look healthier since you moved to Florida well thanks to having a vegan wife I do eat better um, and yeah, uh, well, before they closed everything down, I was swimming all the time, so thank you, that was very nice of you. So here's the back of the book. So Donald Duck was introduced, um, Mickey Mouse was in, I believe, 1928, Donald Duck came out in 1935, and you could see he started out with a very long bill, 
So this has about, I think, like 15 or 16 pages. I've seen some, for the price I paid, I've seen some that are like loose cover and taped all over the place. This looks like about a 3.0. I'm sorry, like a 5.0. Because the spine is intact. There's some minor damage there. But this would technically, it's not a comic, but it's definitely platinum area. Because Golden Age started in 1938 with Action Comics number one. So, this is the first appearance ever of Donald Duck. Obviously, not from the movies, because he came out in 1935. They did a movie, and I think they said that this comic is based on loosely that movie. But Donald Duck was introduced in 1935. So, this is his first appearance ever in book form. And growing up, I was a huge Donald Duck fan, and I never knew this is what he looked like. So, this is actually a very cool book in my opinion. I've seen these anywhere from $200 for a taped one up to $1,000 people are selling these for. And I just happened to, at late night, find this one and nobody bid on it. So again, let me show you the back. So it's a very oversized book, so I don't think this could be graded. I'll have to check. I mean, maybe, because um, if it's magazine size, I think CGC might be able to do it. I don't know. But I paid $155.95 for this book. Like I said, if you look on eBay right now, you could just type in Donald Duck 1935, and you'll see this book in um, prices all the way up to $1,000. Now, I don't know what it's technically worth, but considering the condition for a book that's all close to getting to 100 years old, I mean, 1935 is only 15 years away, so 85 years old, I mean, the only major damage is the bottom part of the corner. It's got a little bit of dirt. Looks like like fingerprints. It's kind of hard to see. Like right there. So there's a little bit of faint dirt. So I'm sure if PGX ever could grade this. I mean if they ever had a magazine sized thing. And along the edges there's some dirt. Which would be expected. I mean how many people probably read this book over the decades. But other than that I mean... The spine is incredible. Oh, sorry. The edges are pretty much intact. I mean, there's a little damage right in the corner. So I would probably argue this could be about a 5.0 to a 6.0 range, but I don't think this is um, able to get graded. So I just thought this was an interesting addition to add to my collection and, uh, again, first appearance of Donald Duck. I'll have to see about if anybody's interested in this. Otherwise, I'll hold on to it, maybe bring it to the flea market when they open, because they're starting to do open procedures here in Florida, but I don't know if I'll be working just yet, because I don't think I'm in Phase 1. So, again, if you click on that link and sign up, because remember, today is the last day to get that $30 bonus. You have to spend $30 by midnight tonight. To qualify, you got to click on that link. You'll get the $30 cash back bonus instead of just the regular 10 which, I mean, still $10 for free is fine. So get a book tonight or get something tonight and uh, spend the $30 and, um, you know, get that bonus. But it also helps me because if you click on the link and spend the $30 and it's approved because it does take a couple of days to process... Um, I get a one-time fee, and I've been out of work, will be going out of work between seven and eight weeks now, so any kind of help, because I don't qualify for any of the unemployment benefits, because I'm an independent contractor, and I just moved from New York to Florida, so Florida will not give me any benefits, I mean, I don't care, I'll always find a way, but I don't have, other than the one stimulus check, I haven't received any other payments from them, you know, I don't want to be dependent on the government anyway. So, in a way, I don't really care, and my wife still has her job, but uh, anything will help. So, that is the book. This is, um, it's Whitman, Whitman 935. You can look it on eBay. It just write it, type in in the search, Donald Duck 1935. So, this came out in 1935. This is a first print. 
because there were no second prints. There was a reprint made years ago, but it was smaller and different paper quality. And uh, this is the first ever book form of Donald Duck because he came out in 1935. So for $155.95, I mean, I thought this was a cool piece of history to own. And being a Donald Duck fan, just thought it was cool to show you. So this technically is not a comic book, but you know what? I'm sure people still appreciate it. And I bet you somebody out there that watches this video may be interested in that and didn't know about it like I didn't know about it and maybe add it to their collection. So cool thing to have, especially if you're a Donald Duck fan, Disney fan, or just a fan of older books. I mean, that's the oldest um, book that's comic related that I own. I mean, this is 1935. Before that, the oldest book I own is a coverless Superman 2 from 1939. So this beats it by four years. But this technically isn't a comic book. So that's the book. Let me know if you've ever seen that before in any video. I don't believe anyone's ever showed it. But then again, I haven't seen every single video. So if I'm wrong with that, you know, call me out in the comment section. Show me a link of that video so other people can see it as well. And uh, let's do today's surprise subscriber shout out. We are going to give it to... Giuseppe Enya. I'm sure I screwed up that last part, so forgive me if I did, but Giuseppe, you are today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Let me know if you've ever seen that book before at all. Um, check on eBay so you can see the prices. I think for $155 for a book in that condition, considering what some of the books look like, cannot complain, thought it's a cool edition, and now I'm going to have to figure out where to, f where to place that book. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Let me put the link one last time, because if you're just getting here, the cashback bonus of $30 ends May 1st. Today is April 30th, so you have until midnight tonight to spend uh, to click on the link, sign up. It's free to sign up. Just read if there's any restrictions or anything in case it doesn't qualify for your country or whatever. Uh, make sure you check that. I mean, I'm sure you could probably still get some kind of cashback bonus, but make sure you check the restrictions just in case. Spend $30 or more before tonight ends, before midnight, which means you can't spend $20 and $10 shipping. It has to be $30 on whatever you're buying, and it's whatever qualifies from that uh, website. So there's many things besides comic books. So take advantage of that while you can, and then after, after tomorrow, it will go back to a $10 cashback bonus. So might as well take advantage of it if you can. So if you spend $30 today, you're basically getting whatever you're buying for free. Now, it does take a couple of days to process. So give a shout-out to the shout -out. I know Mr. Comics, he's one of my moderators and definitely one of my power viewers. He's already given the shout-out to Giuseppe. You can always count on him to do that. Go check out his channel as well. He does a lot of videos. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And do not forget, it is not you. It is not I. It's We Love Comics. And even ones that are kind of close to being a comic. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.